Why is it blurring? Oh, never mind. It's okay. Plug it in. And you'll notice that this is, uh, this is actually not iron steel, but it has a lot of iron in it. So that's a very strong conductor, right? Very strong conductor, okay? So if I were to test this rod, I would get electrocuted. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm plug it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to test uh, for conductivity of different metals. So we're going to start with a light spin. Uh, we're going to start with, uh, let's say, magnesium. Now we're going to go across the periodic table from left to right. So here's the periodic table. And we're going to start with our, I don't have any alkaline metals. I do have alkaline earth metals, which are these right here. Uh, we said that those were the second most reactive group, right? The alkaline earth metals. So we're going to start with magnesium. I want you guys to observe the physical properties and write them down. What do you observe about that, this magnesium? What is the color? Uh, is it shiny? Okay. Um, this is magnesium right here. It's ductile, can be made into a wire. It's malleable, write that down. It's shiny, it has luster. Okay, it's kind of silver in color. Now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and touch this on here. These two wires. And I want you guys to make a hypothesis. What do you think is going to happen? Will it conduct? Yes or no? No. Okay. All right, go ahead and light it again and plug it back in. So I have the magnesium in contact with these two leads. I'm going to go ahead and try it out. You notice it's a very strong conductor. Magnesium is definitely a conductor. Even though it's not uh, iron, it is a very good conductor. Let's go turn that off. Okay. So the next metal we want to test, and write that, record that information in your, in your data table. Uh, the next information we want to, uh, the next metal we want to test is zinc. And so let's turn the lights on again. You get a good look at zinc. Uh, zinc is very malleable. You can bend it very easily. Let's write that down. It's shiny. It has luster. Um, it is probably ductile as well. We're going to go and test out the zinc. Uh, is this an alkaline earth metal or a transition metal? What kind of metal is this? Where's zinc? Zinc is a transition. It's in group, what, 12, okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, touch this on here and put this in contact with this. So the zinc is now in contact. Uh, make a hypothesis, will it conduct? Yes. Okay, plug it in. Who says no? Yeah. It's a very strong conductor. Zinc is definitely a conductor. Okay, so go ahead and plug it. We have one more metal to test, and that is copper. What do you guys think about copper? Yes. Yes. What do we use copper for, guys? Why? Why right. So let's take a look at copper and write down the physical properties. What do we observe about it? Is it ductile? Yes, it's ductile. It can be made into a wire like this, okay? It is also malleable. It can be bent easily. Um, it is shiny. Write that down, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and test for conductivity. And we kind of know the answer, but we're going to go and test it just to confirm our hypothesis. It's wrapped around this wire. Go ahead and turn it off. Okay, plug it back in. And... Definitely a very strong conductor. So we found that copper is a good conductor. So all the metals that we've tested, we tested four metals. What did we test? Uh, magnesium, magnesium, zinc, zinc copper, 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 and iron, uh, which is found in this rod here. They're all good conductors. Okay. So go ahead and plug it in. All right. So we're going to test one more thing, one more property, and that's magnetism. So here's the question, guys. All these are good conductors. Would they all be magnetic? How many say yes? No. How many say that every metal is magnetic? How many say no? Oh, okay. Well, let's test it out. So here I have the light skin. Here I've got some iron, and we can get some on that. Uh, this is Fe. This is iron powder. I'm gonna go ahead and take my magnet, which is right here. And first of all, I just want to demonstrate this is a real magnet. So this right here is made of has a steel which is, has iron in it. So watch this. It sticks to it. Okay. Now watch this, guys. Notice that when I move it towards it, it tends to push it up like that. And you can actually move it around, which is kind of cool, like that. So that is definitely magnetic, okay? That's the, that's the property of iron is that it's magnetic. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna test something else. We're gonna test magnesium. Now here's the question. Magnesium and iron were both conductors. Are they both magnetic? What do y'all think? 
Let's see if I can pull the slinky with this magnet, if I can attract it. It's not sticking to it. You'll notice that this is not magnetic, whereas to put it here, it sticks to it, right? So this is not magnetic. So we can write down that magnesium is not magnetic, even though it was a conductor, it's not magnetic. What about nickel? Here I have a nickel. Um, I'm gonna put it on this magnet and we're gonna turn it over and see what happens. That's a nickel right there. What kind of element is that? Is that a transition or is that a... That's a transition, right? So watch this. Not magnetic, it doesn't stick to you, okay? So that's not magnetic. Uh, what about zinc? Let's try out zinc. Let's see if it sticks to this. Put it on the zinc. Not magnetic, okay? The zinc does not, it doesn't want to stick to it, okay? So zinc is not magnetic either. What else do we have? We have copper. If we test copper, we find out the same thing. I can't pick this up with the magnet, it's not magnetic either. So none of these metals are magnetic except for what? Iron. For iron, okay. Now we're gonna test some non-metals. So I want to show you guys, some, well actually this is a metalloid uh, called silicon. So you'll notice that it is actually very shiny, it actually looks like a metal. And it looks like a shiny metal rock. Okay. So that's silicon right there. Um, silicon is technically a non-metal, but it does behave like a metal, which is why it's called a metal oil. okay? So that's silicon. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take some silicon out here, and I'm gonna see if I can get it oops, to stick to this magnet. So I'm gonna put some silicon on the magnet and turn it upside down. There's the silicon on the magnet. Nope, not magnetic, so there's the silicon again, okay? So we found that metalloids are not magnetic. Are they conductors? That's one question. Who thinks silicon is a conductor? What is silicon used for? It's used to make computer chips, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if we can get this to touch. Now this is gonna be challenging uh, because... Take off your gloves and... <laughs> uh, because it's a little tiny rock. See if I can just sit it on here. Touch. I don't wanna to touch the two wires, but there we go. See if you can zoom in on that. There's a silicon. Uh, it's not touching. It's hard because it's a rock. If I just stick it on there. Wait, I almost got it. Yes, I got it. Okay, it's on the rock. Okay, go ahead and turn the lights off. Plug it back in. What do y'all think? Who says it's going to conduct? It's silicon. It's not a metal. It's a metalloid. Yes, it's a conductor. Me a silicon is a conductor. So we use silicon to make computers. So it has to have you know electricity flowing through the circuits, right? So it does conduct. All right, so now we're gonna test one more element, and that is oxygen, guys. So look right here, here's oxygen. It's invisible, we can't see it. Now, let's see what happens if I pass these two wires into this flask, and let's see what happens if I stick these in here. Will it conduct? So no. go ahead and turn, plug it back in. What do y'all think? This is oxygen. It's not. It's a non-metal, plug it in. It doesn't conduct. I'm holding this, okay. All right, all right, we might go. Thank, thank goodness it was not a conductor because I got shot. It doesn't work anymore, that's why. It doesn't work anymore? Let's, let's, let's test that hypothesis real quick. All I gotta do is touch these two wires together. Now plug it back in. We got it on video. Ah, okay. That's it. Okay, that's it for that. So let's go. We're gonna look over here, and we're gonna see some. Uh, go ahead and pause the video. Turn off.